everybody. Oh, see. Our Jack barbecue and other things. I don't know if you can see up there, but clouds are coming in. Weather changing. Got the old uh, R Shack testing facility all boarded up. Sorry about my dog. He'll shut up in a minute. Shut up, dog. <laughs> Got it all boarded up, and we're gonna start doing cooks in it. So let's go in there and check it out. Got my door back on. There my flag is. Get my flag. I'm not heading in now. Alright, what's going on here? Okay, so what do we got going on today? Well, as you can see there, zoom in a little bit, we got a new toy. It's a peat oven for a pellet grill from a green mountain. More on that later. Then I got a peat one. Got their peat pill. What I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this on the rack tack. See how it works on the rack tack. So, what we'll do is actually slide this over a little bit since I uh, last used it. I kind of moved it. See where my power cord is? Power on. Ta -da. It says to kick it up to 300. So we're going to kick her up to 300. I'll show you how I have it set up in there real quick. Now, I guess you really don't need the light, can't see anything. So as you can see, I have all my uh, grates, the heat deflector, uh, grease drip tray everything's out of there and I have this sitting right on the firebox more about that in a few minutes but anyhow mm, I can smell pellets already what a great smell let's let this thing come up to temp and we'll talk about this more okay this is a uh, Daniel Boone Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone that I picked up for a hundred dollars uh, I needed it for a uh, few pork butts uh, that I needed to do up and uh, I thought it was a great deal. It has uh, the insulation blanket, it had the uh, cover that goes over it and uh, it actually worked really, really well. Um, after I did that cook, I was like, wow, pretty cool they have that pizza attachment. So I ordered that and uh, I'm gonna to have to watch some more videos because I'm kind of kind of perplexed because if you look in here that's the pizza attachment right there and it sits down inside the firebox but I don't know how you're gonna get past this lip to get down in there let's take the lid off and we'll set the pizza stone in there you're still quite a ways away from being able to I got their pizza peel too, here. As you can see, Green Mountain Grills, wood-fired pellet grills. And there's really, once you get this lid on here, I just don't understand how you're supposed to do that. It needs to be raised up. So I'll watch some videos, but what I did is I had this tubing. I picked it up uh, in case I wanted to uh, vent, uh, you know, a smoker up out the roof of the RJAC testing facility. So I picked this up, and what I did is I first checked it out and I cut five inches off of it. So what we're going to do, we'll take this out. So as you can see, that's supposed to sit right on the little fire pit there. So what I've done is, what we'll do with this is we'll put this on here like this. Set it on the firebox the, there. 
And now we'll take our pizza oven. We'll set it on the top. Now I have access to it, but I still don't understand why their pizza peel is so much bigger. Um, so anyhow, the idea now is to see if this will work on the Rectech. Now that I got it up, the lid on this one closes. Now let's see if this will work on the Rectech. Pretty sure it will. The thing about this, this is only 10 inches, so really you're gonna have to do like a small pizza. Um, I don't know. At this point, I have to say it's a non, not a thing to buy. Uh, if that's as big as they are. Alright, let's see how it'll fit on the rec deck. Alright, so we've been uh, running here for about 10 minutes at 300. Let's just uh, get an idea. So right now, outside of the grill is about 215. Just see what we got in here. Get down on that stone. So the stone up here in front is about 480. Actually, it's about 4 460. Keep hitting the lid. So let us find my gloves. Here's my gloves. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. Try to at least set it down. Let's take this pizza. Now this is just a frozen pizza because I'm testing this out to see how well it does. designed for the Daniel Boone or for uh, the uh, Jim Bowie models, which are your bigger pellet smokers. So that was my fault. That's why I didn't want to fit on here like I wanted it. That's why I didn't fit on the Green Mountain like I wanted it to. So that's on me for ordering the wrong one. Uh, I am going to order the correct one because it is bigger and it sits higher and I will probably won't have to use that spacer. Uh, and then I'll be able to do a full size pizza instead of one of these small little, this is only 10 by 10, 10 inches by 10 inches. So it's very small. It'd be great for like flatbread and things like that. Um, but for a pizza, yeah, my size, <laughs> not enough. So anyhow, we'll let this go for another two to three minutes and we'll take a look at it. So that's why it doesn't fit very well on here. You listen, near the rain, it started raining. It's going to get wet from here to the house. But, oh well. It's been about five minutes. Let's take a quick look at it. Oh, I can see it's already cooking in there. Wow. Bottoms like. Get a 
got a glove on here. This is going to be a little tricky for the first time. The bottom is looking like, oh wow guys, can you see that? I hope you can see that. The top is done. It's beautifully golden brown. And the bottom, look at that crust. Rotated. Wow, this is actually working out better than I thought it would. But we're gonna let it go for a few more minutes. Get this all centered up here a little better. So I wouldn't be doing this without wearing gloves like this. That's for sure. That is looking so good, guys. All right, I'm gonna say this pizza is done. And turn down our grill before we get into this. All right, let us have a close look at this thing. Mm. It's smelling so good out here, even though it is a you know frozen pizza. Wow! Oh, wow! Do you see that? Kind of drag the top. Oh, that crust is amazing. Look at that. Not bad at all. All right, let's cut into this pizza. I got this new pizza cutter, so let's go. <laughs> I'm telling you, this new cutter. Look at that. See the bottom. <clears throat> Take a look at that. Mm. Look at that crust. <laughs> that turned out perfect. Let's try it. Mm. Nice. Perfect. Oh. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. All right. Let's talk about this. That was awesome. That cooked that pizza like five, five to seven minutes. So that's all I had it on there. And it cooked it. I let it come up to 10. I let it come up to the 300. And I let the pizza oven with the pizza stone in there heat up for another 15 minutes. Just sitting out here with nothing on it. Then I came out and put that pizza on it. You saw how I did that. I took the lid off, set the pizza on it, put the lid back on and uh, I let it go for five minutes, just like that. And that was a frozen pizza. And uh, I let it go for five minutes. Then I took the lid off, kind of checked everything, and I rotated it and let it go for another two minutes and uh, pulled it off, cut it up with my new pizza slicer. That thing is awesome. Mm. And man, this pizza, mm. so good. Even though it is a frozen pizza, it still tastes good. Nice little crunch to it. Mm. Like I said, I'm going to order the bigger one and I will do this again and we'll see how it comes out. I think it'll work great with your uh, take and bakes like Papa Murphy's, putting that on there. And then, you know, maybe I'll even start making my own pizza dough and uh, try making my own pizzas. But I'm telling you, that worked awesome. Can't wait to do it again. Green Mountain Pizza Stone Oven. I'm going to say it's the real deal, but we'll wait till we get the bigger one and see how it does, and I'll do a comparison with them. Uh, but you can do it. You saw how I built that little spacer and set it on there and uh, let it go. So anyhow, I'm going to go finish eating this pizza, and uh, it's going to be good. Thank you so much for watching. You can do this, too. It's not that hard. Until next time, my friends. Real long. Pizza time. Yeah.